Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we are installing a locking security box for my 2021 Ram Rebel. Um, yeah, that's right, I got a new truck. So we're gonna just tear right into this. This is a toughy security console for your uh, items that you need to keep safe and keep locked down. These are kind of a nice little addition. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this. It comes with keys. I, I opted for the key lock. I don't know that you can get a combi lock for this because of the clearance issues in that center console. It's a really, it's a big center console, but there's a sliding tray that goes over this. This isn't a complete box. What it is is it's it, it's a secure, it's, it, it uses uh, the existing center console as part of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and kind of show this to you guys. It's definitely stout, but I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about when we bring this out here. I'm gonna get this box out of the way. That's all that really comes with it. And uh, so this kind of just stands up like this. So you can, you can see here's the lid to it. And it looks like this is gonna bolt to the existing part of the, uh, the center console. So it will secure the, your items and I'm sure it's gonna do uh, a good job of that, but uh, there's no, if you're looking for a complete steel box, this isn't it. So, um, but I'll go ahead and open the lid just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here, um, how this is gonna work. We'll get this key, the keys out of here. But uh, I needed something that I could secure items in and not be too concerned. I think uh, anybody that's gonna get one of these uh, will realize that if anybody tries to steal something out of your center console and they get past this, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of effort so but this has got a nice so it, the lid and everything is very solid on this and it wasn't too expensive either I think I want to say it was a 140 bucks maybe um, so it's well made it's it looks like it's well put together so we're gonna go ahead and we'll get this install uh, started and uh, so I'll take you out to the truck next and we'll get going with the Tuffy security console and this is Tuffy products if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell for notifications. We're trying to do more videos now. Uh, I know the COVID thing has kind of affected us a little bit, nothing crazy, but uh, we've kind of uh, been busy. Let's just put it that way. All right, the tools needed for this install, you're gonna need a eighth inch drill bit with a drill, of course. You need a 7 16th open box end wrench. You're gonna need a 5 30 seconds hex wrench. And I got a stubby screwdriver and also a longer screwdriver for the install of the screws. All right, before you do the install, you wanna go through and make sure everything's there that, can't, uh, that, that you need to have. It's a minimal amount of parts that you, you get with this kit. Of course, you get the, the lid or the, the box. And then there's, there's gonna be a few installation screws. You get two nylon uh, washers. You get six um, screws. And then you get one uh, cap screw with a nylock washer. And I'm assuming that's gonna be for the, uh, the box lid uh, and slide. So that's really all there is to it. And, it, and two, set, or two keys, a set, a set of keys, you know, two of them. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installation started. All right, so what you wanna do here is flip this uh, box over, or this um, security console over in this arm right here. We're gonna to wanna to put our lock nut and our nylon washers on there. And this will, you know, this is the, the lid lifter that will help you open the lid and it'll maintain the lid in the open position when you open the box once it's installed. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in now. And what we're gonna need for that, we're gonna need a 5 30 seconds uh, hex wrench and a 7 16 uh, box wrench or an end wrench. All right, so you're gonna wanna put that nylon washer on the outside of this uh, bolt. We're gonna slide that into the groove. And then what we're gonna do is you're, you're, you're gonna wanna put that nylon washer, the, the second one in between the, the slide bracket here and this. So. I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera and do it, but I'll show you once it's in. 
Okay, so you can see what I've done here. I've got the nylon washer on the outside here, and then in between the slide arm here and the the uh, the base bracket is another nylon washer, and then we got the nut on the end. So you're going to take your 7 16 box end wrench, your open end wrench here, and then you'll use your 5 30 seconds uh, hex wrench on the the bolt and then you're you're going to want to secure that enough to where it opens easily but you want it to be able to maintain you know keep the lid open when you open it up so you want some resistance on that so we'll do that and then we'll move on to the next step well i'll tell you i haven't had this truck very long but you could probably hide a small child in this center console so i pulled all my crap out of here and what we want to do is we want to get this uh console in here and we want to get the legs out so we can test fit everything and also we want to mark uh, the hole uh, the positions of the holes on this so we can pre-drill them to put the screws in so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to set this down in here and we're going to open it up and mark the i think there's six holes that need to be drilled so we're going to do that now so you want to make sure your tray is fully forward and then you're going to try to situate this thing and get it slid in here so it faces this way so we're going to go ahead and try to get this situated um i don't have a camera on it but you're gonna to have to kind of angle it in and set it in there then we'll use the key to open the lid to put the legs out so that's what we're going to do next all right so this is how it should look with the with the uh the lid open and I got so you want to mark these holes there's two holes here that you're gonna be drilling and then there's four holes here now I think this divider right here needs to be raised and out of the way because if you look right here this is got it's got this raised up too high so we're gonna move that divider and set it back in and see how it looks so this is what it's going to look like when it's installed. It's pretty clean setup. Now we just need to mark the screws now, and then we're going to pull it back out, drill the holes, put it back in, and then all we got to do is uh, uh, put the screws in, and this will be done. Okay, now that we've got that out, we want to drill those holes. We want to make sure this divider is up when we place this in back in to uh, secure it permanently. So now we're going to go ahead and get the drill and get that started. So I think this will be the hardest part of the whole install is drilling into a brand new truck. But uh, it, it's better if you can find like maybe a silver Sharpie or something to mark these holes because they don't show up well in the black. Uh, I can still see them. You probably won't see them on the camera. But uh, as long as I can see them and get them in the right spot, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. So I'll drill these holes and then we'll move to the next step. All right, with a little more light on the subject, I can see my drill points. Now I'm going to use an eighth inch drill bit, which they required. And uh, I'm going to drill two holes there, two there, two back here. So we'll get that going. So now that the holes are drilled and we have this divider up out of the way, we're going to go ahead and lower this in for the last time. And we'll start securing it with the provided screws. So let's get that going. Done the finished product. You got four screws there and two in the back there. Um, it fits in there very nice. You definitely want to take the, the key out, and it just barely clears. I almost can feel some uh, a little bit of rubbing. I think if you remove the mat, it's not really rubbing. It just barely touches. Uh, I can feel touch in there a little bit when I slide this back, but. But the reality of it is, is uh, it's a real clean fit. Um, you don't have to do really any modifications. Hardest part was drilling uh, six holes in a brand new truck. So really that's all there is to it. Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Thanks again for watching. That concludes our video of the 2019 plus truck center console insert for the Ram uh, 1500 truck. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.